This is a video tutorial on how to transform a wonder bodice block into a strapless princess front bodice. We will need a wonder bodice block, pattern paper, pencil and eraser, the compass, the ruler, color pens of any color with a French curve, and magic tape and scissors. Place the bodice block on top of the pattern paper and trace around making sure to transfer all the markings. Draw the dark legs to the bust point. From the bust point, mark the empire measurement on both dark legs. Here I'm using 3 inches. Draw a circle using a compass. This circle gives us a visual on the position of the bust and the pattern, and then we are ready to plot the contour guides. This strapless pattern calls for plotting the contour guides on our block to reduce any excess and give a garment a fit around the bust and shoulders. So for our design tutorial today, we mainly focus on contouring the busts. So, the questions, when do I use and how do I apply the contour guides, will be addressed in this video. So, for the front strapless pattern, we have four contour guidelines to look into, so let's continue. First is contour guide number four. This is used to remove any excess under the bust. So, on the when question. We use this guideline every time our style line crosses under the bust. And how do we contour? For semi-fit designs, we mark 316 on both darts. And for tighter fit designs, we use 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. To shape the upper portion of the dart, mark 2 inches from the bust point and blend it to the contour guide number 4. Next is contour guide number 5. And this is to remove any excess between the bust. Again, we need to address the when and how questions. So for the when, when do we use this? We use this guideline if our design calls to reveal the cleavage. And for how, we mark 3 eighths of an inch above this line and 3 eighths inch below this line. So that's a total of 3 fourths of an inch. Contour guide number 6 is to remove any excess above the bust for all strapless designs. Draw a guideline from the mid shoulder to the bust point, and for a dress form that I have with a B cup size, the total excess I need to remove from the pattern measures 1 and 1 8. So first I mark 1 fourth on the center front panel or to the right of the, the block. And I leave the rest of measurement to the side panel. So that's a total of 7 eighths. But if you are starting out on your first draft, you start with 7 eighths in total, in total measurement. And always, always use a color pen when drawing in your guidelines. Mark 2 inches above both dark legs. So this helps us later on when we construct the garment. Extend the bust line on the side front panel and we also need this marking so we don't get lost later on when we're piecing together all these panels. 
Now that we have the major contour guides, we can now draw in our style line. I want to be conservative on this design, so not too much of a cleavage here. So how low you want is a personal, a personal preference, of course, uh, of the designer or of the client. We are now able to mark the last contour guideline of the front pattern which is called the side piece. So this removes any excess at the armhole for strapless designs. With a standard measurement of half inch, mark this from the base of the armhole and blend it to the waist. Before this pattern gets cut into panels, this bust line right here needs to be extended and it will serve as a guide for marking the grain line. Close the dart at the center front panel. Since most strapless designs call for the use of boning or rigeline, this curve right here on both panels would need to be increased by one fourth of an inch. So here I'm just extending it by one fourth of an inch and I will blend it from the extended bust point down to the 2 inches mark and from the bust point to the top of the pattern. And cut away any excess paper. So if you would like a tutorial on how to draft the back pattern of the strapless bodice, let me know by leaving a comment down below. So to complete the strapless front bodice pattern, let us mark the green line of both panels, for center front panel and side front panel. Don't also forget to mark the rest of the markings, remember the 2 inches above and 2 inches below the, the darts, so please don't forget. So if you find this video helpful, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And I would also love to see you on Instagram.